So how's Alabama? Tell you the truth, Joe, me and Bama are busting up. Oh, Jesus Christ. Larry, I'm sorry. Thanks a lot, Joe. So, uh, any chance you two will patch it up? Uh, not likely. How's Laurie and Grace taking it? They're taking it. Not happy about it, but what are they gonna do? We got them up at a private school now, so we'll deal with it big time come Easter. Enough of this bad stuff. Let's talk some nice stuff. Heard you tied the knot with some gorgeous gal. Oh, yeah. Tammy is gorgeous. She's fucking beautiful. <laughs> yeah, she's from Arkansas? Tennessee. Knoxville, Tennessee. She used to be a regular on Hee Haw. You know, that country show with all those fucking... I know what Hee Haw is. So why'd you get married? What do you think? I love her. Pretty silly for an old fart like me, huh? It's kind of silly. It's kind of cute, too. You know what else is pretty silly? She loves me back. Now, I know you don't want to believe that. But I don't give a damn, because I know she does. You know what else she's got me doing, Larry? Reading books. <laughs> she'll read something, she'll come to me and she'll say, Joe, in that funny accent of hers, you know, it sounds like little Abner. She'll say, Joe, I just read this book and it's really good. Now I want you to read it because I want to talk with you about it. <laughs> if I know what's good for me, I better read it. You ever read that? No. Tammy loves Sylvia Plath. I'm not so sure myself. She killed herself, you know. Tammy? No, asshole. Plath. The woman who wrote the goddamn book. <sighs> Look, I know everybody thinks I'm a chump. But they're wrong and I'm right. Huh? Now, I know how she feels about me, and I know how she makes me feel when I'm with her. Plath? <laughs> Come on, Joe. I'm kidding around. Hey, what's hard to believe? You're a lovable guy. In fact, I'd go so far as to describe you as a catch. Yeah, well, you keep needling me, Weisenheimer, and you're gonna meet Mr. Boot. We've met. Mr. Button wants to stay as far away as possible. <laughs> Explain the telegram. It's a five-man job. Busting in and busting out of a diamond wholesaler's. Can you move the ice? I don't know. Nobody moves ice. That's not a problem. I got guys waiting for it. What happened to Marcellus Spivey? I thought he always melted your ice for you. Spivey, he's doing 20 years at Susan. What for? Bad luck. What's the exposure like? <clears throat> it's two minutes tops. But it's a tough two minutes. Daylight during business hours, dealing with a crowd. How many employees? Around 20. Security's pretty lax. They're almost always dealing in boxes, you know, rough, uncut stones that they get from the syndicate. On a certain day, this wholesaler's getting in a big shipment of polished stones from Israel but they're like a way station. They're gonna be picked up and sent out the next day to Hamburg. No, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> What's the cut, Papa? Juicy, Junior. Real juicy. That second wave that showed up in the cars? Those are the ones responding to the alarm. But those first motherfuckers, man, I'm telling you, they were there already. They were waiting for us. Hey, Mr. White, man, huh? Haven't you thought about this? Look, I ain't fucking time to think about jack shit, man. First I was just trying to get the fuck out of there, and then I've just been dealing with him. Please get me to a Look, you shut the fuck up! Fucking fucking stop thinking about it, all right? Because that's all I'm thinking about. Every time you talk, you lose fucking blood. I'm gonna fucking leave you if you don't just stop. If you don't man, shut you up. Man, us up, man. Knows about this place. You hear what I'm saying? There could be cops right now on that way here. Would you man. shut the fuck up, motor mouth? You're freaking this guy. Hey, I'm freaked out, okay? Look. Take any other room. Let's take any other fucking room. Wait, no, hey, 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 hey. I told you to be quiet. Every time you talk, you lose blood. Now I'm gonna leave so you don't fucking talk to anybody. You got that? Okay, all right. Now I'm gonna be in the other room. Fuck you just chill the fuck out. Shut up! I felt funny about this job right off. As soon as I felt that I should have said no thank you and walked, you know, but I never fucking listened. It's like every time I ever got burned by in weed, same thing, man. I felt funny about the guy, you know? But I wanted to believe him, because I feel like, you know, if he's not lying to me, and if it really is tie stick, whoa, baby, you know? But it's never a fucking tie stick. And I said, if I ever felt that way about a job, I'd fucking walk. It's like a fucking money. Hey, look, Dad, I need you cool. All right, what's done is done. I need you cool. Are you cool? I'm cool. Well, you don't look cool to me. I'm why don't cool. you walk in? Why don't you spot some water in your face and really cool it out? 
You gotta smoke. Yeah. Well, why don't you smoke one? Shit. Okay, now let's go through what happened here. We're in the place, and everything's going fine. Then the alarm gets tripped. I turn around, and there's cops all over the place. You're right, it was like, BAM! Blink my eyes, there's fucking cop city out there. And then that was when everyone started going ape shit. And that was when Mr. Blonde whipped at his fucking gun and started no, executing wait, 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 people. Man, that's not correct. What the fuck's wrong with it? <sighs> the cops didn't show up after the alarm went off. They didn't show up until Mr. Blonde went off. Wait a minute, as soon as I heard the alarm, that's when I said the No, no, man, I'm telling you, it wasn't that soon. They didn't let their presence be known until after Mr. Blonde went off. I'm not saying they weren't there, I'm saying they were there, okay? But they didn't move in until Mr. Blonde became a madman. Don't you see, they were outside waiting, okay? The alarm goes off, they did nothing. All right, Mr. Blonde starts shooting, bang, now they had to move in. I mean, that's how I know we were set up. Oh, Jesus Christ, Mr. White, can't you see that? Hey, God, fuck this Mr. White shit, all right? Hey, 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 wait a minute, man. Don't tell me your fucking name, all right? I, I don't want to know it. I sure as hell ain't gonna tell you my name. You're right. This is bad. This is really, really bad. How the hell did you get out? Shot my way out. I mean, everybody was shooting, so I just blast my way out of there. There's a couple of cops. Did you kill anybody? Couple cops. No real people? Mm, just cops. Man, could you believe Mr. Blunt? <laughs> Those are the most insane fucking things I've ever seen. What the fuck was Joe thinking about me hired that guy? Huh? I mean, I don't want to kill anybody, you know? Mm -hmm. But if I gotta get out that door and you're standing in my way, okay, one way or the other. You're gonna get out of my way. You're gonna get it out of the way. I think that's how I think about it. A choice between knocking out some stupid motherfucker in my way and doing 10 years ain't no choice at all. Yeah, but I ain't a fucking bad man. Why did you hire that guy? I mean, you can't work with a motherfucker like that. A motherfucker like that is unstable. What do you think happened, man? I mean, what do you think really happened? I mean, do you think he panicked? You think he's trigger happy? What? I think he's a sick fucking maniac. You know, I mean, we're goddamn awful lucky we didn't get tagged when he was doing his cowboy shit. I mean, I, I came this close to taking his ass out myself, you know? I mean, everybody panics, okay? I mean, things get tense like that. Yeah, you panic. All right, but I mean, you panic on the inside, you know? You, in, in, in your head, you don't, you don't fucking go crazy, you know? <laughs> I mean, you get a grip and you, and you, and you get a hold of the situation, you know? Uh -huh. You don't shoot up the place and kill everybody. You know what you're supposed to do? Is you're supposed to act like a fucking professional. A psychopath is not a professional. Yeah. You can't deal with a psychopath. You can't work with a psychopath because you don't know what those crazy motherfuckers going to do next. I only think that girl was, huh? The, the, the black girl? What, 20? 20, 21? Jesus Christ, man! Hey, did you see what happened to anybody else? Nah, I'm just... Once everything went to shit, me and Orange hopped in the car, Brown floored it, and I don't know what went down. Well, at that point, it was every man for himself, you know? I mean, I ain't got the foggiest what happened to Mr. Blonde and Mr. Blue, you know? Because once I get out, I know the back. Well, what do you think happened? Well, what do I think? I mean, I think they either got caught or they got killed. Not even a chance they punched through? I mean, you found out. Yeah, and let me tell you, that was a fucking miracle, you know? And even if they did, then where the fuck are they? What makes you so fucking positive? I got the diamonds. You want to come back with that little piece of information again, buddy boy? I got the diamonds, all right? Where? I got them. Where? Where? Are they in your fucking car? Are they up your ass? Where the fuck are they? No, they're not in my car. No, I don't have them on me. Look, if you want to come with me and go get them, yes, we can do that. First, you got to fucking listen to what I'm saying to you, all right? We were set up, okay? Somebody's in league with the cops. We got a Judas in our midst. I think we should have our fucking heads examined to stay in here. Well, the plan was that we meet here after the robbery. Well, fuck the plan. I mean, you know, where is everybody? I say the plan is null and void once we find out we got a rat in the house, you know? I mean, for all we know, Blonde and Blue could be dead. Uh, maybe the cops got them out of the station house. Yeah, I mean, they don't know our names, but they could be singing about this place. Right as we speak, there could be cops coming here. Jesus fucking Christ, be <laughs> damn it, I swear to God, I am fucking jinxed! What? Hey, man, what's the matter? 
you talking about? Two jobs back. A four-man job. Two days before we were going about to pull it. We found out one of the team was an undercover cop. No shit. You see? Hey, thank fucking God we found out in time. They just had to fucking forget. Just, just walk away. Just walk away from the whole fucking thing. Well, who do you think the rat is this time, huh? I mean, brown, blue, Eddie. I mean, it could even be Joe, you know I mean? He set this whole show up. Maybe he set it up to set it up. Hey, hold on, buddy boy. Me and Joe go back a long way. I can tell you straight up, Joe had nothing to do with this bullshit. Hey, look, look. I've known Joe since I was a kid, okay? And me to say he definitely didn't do it is ridiculous. All right? I mean, I know I definitely didn't do it because I know what I did or didn't do. But I cannot definitely say that about anybody else because I don't definitely know. I mean, for all I know is you're the rat. For all I know, you're the rat. Yeah, all right, now you're using your fucking head. For all we know, he's the rat. Well, he ain't the rat because he took a bullet for me. A rat wouldn't do that. Hey, look, asshole, man, I'm right, okay? Somebody's a fucking rat. Where's my fucking piece? You looked in the bathroom. <laughs> 